Hello everybody, it's about that time. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Grant's Beer Reviews. Today, thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Today's beer comes from Bill's Breweries. These guys are in Bedford, Virginia, which is 45 minutes from here. I've actually been to uh, the brewery and uh, I'll have to stay right up and say when we visited, uh, the selection wasn't that impressive to me. What we had was not impressive to me. But, Everybody deserves a second chance. Well, this showed up at the Kroger store where my wife works, and uh, she called me and said, you want me to bring this home? I said, might as well, give it a whirl. Uh, it doesn't have a date on the can, but she said it had a, uh, a date sticker on the, uh, it's a Best Buy 924 uh, on the top of the four pack ring. So, uh, it's what it is there, guys. I mean, there's absolutely nothing stamped on it on the individual can. So, uh, and you can buy singles uh, here in, in Virginia. So, if it's broken down, you're SOL as far as having it. And it doesn't have a canned on date anyway. That's their best buy date. So, uh, I don't know what kind of shop I'm forgiving it. Three months, six months, 12 months, I don't have any idea. So we're going to see, uh, this is a 7.6% and they are claiming it to be uh, a New England style IPA. Well, like I said, it's a plain Jane silver can with a stick on label. Uh, let me jump over to Untap. They say it's 65 IBUs, no commercial description. On the back of the can it says a celebration of the storied Bedford Rainbow Drive-In. This hazy IPA is a sensory rainbow of orange, pineapple, peach, and guava flavor. So, let's find out. Alright. It is kind of cloudy. Ooh, very carbonated there. Whoa. Extremely carbonated. I might say a little over-carbonated. Look at that. I mean... Over-carbonated? Slightly. I mean, I didn't even get half a can in there. I've got more head than I do beer in the glass. So, right off the bat, it's definitely over-carbonated. We got four fingers of head in that glass. And I didn't pour it that super aggressive. Hmm. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Very creamy on top, but great big soapy bubble here. I would say it's a good looking beer, but it's a good looking head anyway. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. Good looking head. It is cloudy. It is hazy. Yeah, let's get it to the nose. See what the head smells like. Ah, nice and citrusy. A little bit of oranges and pineapple. And there might be some peaches in there, so. It's sticking around longer than I thought it was, as big as those bubbles are, but. Let's find out, see if I can get it to uh, the, the lips here uh, and get some of the beer. A different tasting beer for sure. Not your typical hot profile. A 
I'm not going away. Center seat. Wow. The aroma is a little more appealing than the taste. Alcohol is well hidden for 7.6%. I don't know. If I can get the rest of this in there. And that's about as gentle as I can pour this beer guy. It's definitely over carbonated. Two pours and I still can't get it done with all in there. Look at that. to say. Did they let it ferment completely out before they put it in the cans? I don't know. Anyway, I can't even get it all in there, so uh, I'm not super impressed with uh, the, the way it pours and the carbonation. And aroma's nice, but the taste is a little on the wacky side. I mean, it's not your typical big time peach and pineapple and orange guava, kind of muddied up, so uh, a little disappointed. So, let me go see if I can sip on this and get this four fingers of a head down in the glass where I can, where I can drink it, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back, but sipping on it quite a while, and with that monster head, it did leave some nice lacing on the lap. It's got a very different, unique taste to it, guys. Uh, not something I would probably need to drink every day. Uh, the biggest plus I could say is alcohol is well hidden, but it's it's a strange concoction. Uh, I'm not blown away by this beer at all. Uh, and just like I said, I've been there to the brewery before and uh, wasn't uh, super impressed with the beer that I had there. I think I had two different beers while I was there and uh, neither one of them was impressive. But I thought I'd give them a a shot since they're canning it and it was in the store so I had her pick it up and uh, bring it home so uh, it is what it is uh, final choke it's almost like it's watered down too it's a B beer guy that's where I'm going to put it 85 for me on this one uh, beer advocate doesn't have a score, imagine that. And Uncap says it's 3.73, which is in their B range also, not quite to the B plus. Uh, and, and since it doesn't have a date on the can and they're putting those little stickers on the little plastic four pack thing, if you, if you get a four pack you might get that best buy date. So uh, we have no idea when it was canned, put in the package. So. Is what it is, guys. So if you've had Rainbow Connection from Beals Brewery, let me know what you think till we meet again. Let's go see what's in the fridge.